What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA, and yeah, look what they're doing now, everybody. Look what they're doing now. Amazon's delay for Ring of Power reviews on Prime Video, part of a new initiative to filter out trolls. <laughs> Now they just changing the game. They want to cheat the rules. They're not trying to play fair. Hey man, we they control everything, right? They control the platform. They control all of the media. They have enough money to buy off everybody they need to buy off. So now it's like, no, nah, we ain't gonna even take your like unfiltered opinions on how you feel. Nope, we're gonna filter you out if we don't like what you gotta say about our show. I mean, this is just desperation. This is how you know we're winning, okay? When they gotta pull crap like this, this is how you know, oh yeah, we winning the show, okay? We're winning, we're winning, folks. They are losing and they have no choice but to resort to these crappy tactics. I love it. This is awesome. This is amazing news. Let's go ahead and read this. This is on Variety. Amazon introduced a new weapon in the battle against internet trolls. Delays. Starting around the time of the launch of the Distaff Baseball Dramedy, a league of their own, which premiered its full season on August 12, Amazon Prime quietly introduced a 72-hour delay for all user reviews posted to Prime Video. A representative for the streamer confirmed to Variety. Each critique is then evaluated to determine whether it's genuine or a forgery created by a bot, troll, or other breed of digital godly. <laughs> what about the paid off people? Are you are you getting rid of all the people that you bought off and you paid off? Are you getting rid of those guys? The ones that get the red carpet treatment when they show up to your premieres and you guys are all, oh, you guys are so lovely. Here's some food. Here's a little gift basket. Are you deleting those guys uh, reviews as well? Are you getting those guys out of there? No. Nope. <laughs> And this is how you know, look at this. The practice caught notice after the premiere of the first two episodes of Lords of the Ring, Ring of Power, Prime Video's monumentally scaled fantasy series based on, based loosely, very loosely on the works of J.R.R. Tolkien. The series appears to have been review bombed when trolls flood intentionally negative reviews for a show or film on other sites like Rotten Tomatoes. It has an 84% rating from professional critics, but a 37% from user submitted reviews. Uh, the Rings of Power has been fending off trolls for months. No, it hasn't. It's been fending off legitimate criticism for months and they don't like it. Okay, they don't like when you tell them what you really think about their crap. They don't want to hear that. Okay, we want to hear nothing but glowing praise. Great, great. Oh no, it's beautiful. It's bold. It's stunning. It's all of this and that. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear what people like we think. Okay, guys that actually care about story, that care about character development, and don't just care about woke nonsense. Those folks, they want to drown you all the way out to, to the point that you almost don't exist, okay? But we here, okay? We're here, and there's nothing you can do about that. Especially ones who take issue with the decision to cast actors of color as elves, dwarves, harfoots, what's the harfoot again? And other folk of Midi Tolkien's fictional Middle Earth. Yeah, again, I take issue with it, and I've done a video on that, and I'll link that above of why blackwashing characters is just a hundred percent stupid and it's distasteful and it's you know insulting to be quite honest with you i'll go ahead and link that video up there amazon's new initiative to review its reviewers <laughs> it's so funny man this is just sad uh however is designed to weed out ones that are posted in bad faith deadening their impact in the case of believe their own it seems to have worked look at this the the show has averaged out 4.5 out of 5 stars with 80% of the users uh, rating the show with 5 stars, 14% with 1 star. So here, you see what's going to happen. 80% of users ratings got a 5 star. So if you put your 5 star review down, I guarantee you, it doesn't matter if you never saw the show, if you just said it's fantastic and it's great, I guarantee you that that score and that review is staying on the site. They are not deleting that, okay? They are not deleting any 5 star reviews. It's not happening, okay? This is sad, man. Amazon is admitting defeat. Now we got to cheat the system, okay? They have admitted defeat and it's funny, man. It's so funny. Guys, don't look at this as a negative look at it as a positive okay i want you to look at this as a positive situation why because they gotta resort to this okay that means that we have made the impact that we're trying to make not the people that are you know like legitimate criticism is now under attack right people who are saying no i don't like this show it's a one star and here's my reasons why boom 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 when those things come out they are going to Hmm, is this really a real review? Is this someone that we can trust? They're going to try to do anything they can to pull that review down from the site, okay? 
That's why you got to listen to the YouTube uh, community. It, it, honestly, this is a pra This is probably the only place where you can actually leave your real heartfelt opinion. Even YouTube is probably going to eventually get to the point where they're throttling. They already throttle a lot of stuff. They're probably going to end up throttling reviews as well. But it's so funny to see Amazon do it. It's like, but what did we say? It has to succeed. They spent a billion dollars on this. There's no way in the world they can let this thing just sit out there for public consumption and not intervene if things ain't going the way they thought they were going to go, okay? They're going to have to jump in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm starting to see a lot of bad reviews. Uh, Somebody quickly go and check and make sure that that's not a... Oh, no, these guys look legitimate. I think this person left a lot of interesting, you know, opinions. Yeah, he said he didn't like the show, you know, because the character development was this and that. He didn't like the storyline. He, he want to work here? Hey, do you want to work here? You know, I, I, we ain't got time for that. Get that one star review up out of here. That's basically what it's going to end up becoming. And it's funny, but yeah, again, it just shows that they're losing. It just, it just shows how bad things are for the folks over here in woke Hollywood. It, it, it's working, guys. Keep up the pressure. Anyway, folks, what do you think about this situation? <laughs> Woo, that's hilarious, man. Go ahead. Leave me your thoughts and your opinions in the comments below. And thanks for watching. See you next time.